it is officially my 25th birthday so i obviously already celebrated this weekend today i'm just gonna have a chill day going to get a massage i'm gonna go to the pool at my dad's house and then i'm going to a cooking class tonight which i'm very excited for i'm about to leave and run a few errands actually but wanted to unbox a birthday present this is obviously from versace um i use like birthday money and then i paid for this so it's like kind of from everyone and myself you guys follow me on tiktok you will not be surprised Oh my gosh, this weekend was so much fun, but I was so tired. It's like 12 hours. Guys, it is perfect. So it's this pink Versace bathrobe. I mean, like, how fabulous. And then the tie is the classic pink Versace tie. I mean, this is just, I will be living in this. I really will be living in this. So anyways, I need to get going because I'm kind of actually late. I'm running a bit behind this morning. Did my morning pages because, you know, we're still on the artist way. I haven't missed it in. Today is day eight. I actually need to read the second chapter today. Um, also, I've been reading Things You Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hillier, which is like pretty much my favorite thriller author. And I'm just like not loving it. I'm at almost 70%. I will say it picked up once I like made the connection in the middle of the book. But I don't know. I, I'll finish it and let you guys know how I feel. But I'm not like dying over it, you know? Just picked up my Starbucks. This is my order again for anyone who needs a new Starbucks order. It's really good. I get an iced grande coffee, two pumps sugar free vanilla, no classic with a splash of oat milk. If you guys want, you can screenshot it. Um, also, I have it on a highlight on my Instagram if you guys are ever like in a pinch, you know? Then I got kale egg bites. I actually got two because I thought I'd be really hungry, but I drank a sip of my coffee and like now I'm not hungry anymore. But the kale ones are really good. Anyways, I'm gonna go drop off some film. I go to Garland Camera, it's 20 minutes away, but they give you your film back in hours, so it's worth it. Um, I'm going there, and then I have to drive back um, to go to get my massage at the now, which I'm very much so looking forward to. So, heading off, drinking my coffee, listening to podcasts. This is like such a good day for me, you know? Yes, it is my birthday, technically, but it's really just like my ideal day. Oh, all right guys, it's my dad. Happy birthday. Oh, thanks, Dad. Okay, back to what I was saying. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. That's what I was saying. Going to my massage. The now. So peaceful. I love the now, but I cannot wait for squeeze to open up here. They are coming to Dallas, my favorite place. The now is a solid second favorite place. Alright guys, I took the dogs to oh Fitz. Thank you for that. Took the dogs to the pool. Fitz has not been in the pool since he was a little pup. So we're gonna go swimming today. Are you excited? Okay. No, he doesn't care. He's looking for his bestie, Teddy. Teddy can't go swimming, only you. Fitz, trust me, you can do it. Come here, bub. He hasn't done it. Oh, hey, Dad. Come here. Fitz, come here, bub. Fitz, you can do it, come here. I'll show you how to swim. I'm gonna teach you. Fitz, I'm gonna teach you how to swim. Come here, bub. Fitz, you're gonna love the water. Look, come here, come here, don't you want to get in? I love you, I love you, I love you. Don't you want to get in the pool? You smell like a dog in the summer. You get in one second, good boy. You get in, good boy, yeah, you got it, you got it. You got it. Yay, Fitz, yay, Fitz. Yay, Fitz, oh, oh, oh. Oh, Fitz, you don't like the pool? That concludes our first swimming lesson. He looks like a rat. You know, I'm sure he'll be out later. Anyways, I'm at the pool for the time. Gonna relax, listen to music, read my Kindle. And then um, tonight I have cooking class, so I'll go home, shower, get ready. I need to do my hair, actually. So it'll be done for the next few days. It's only like noon. Maybe I'll order some lunch. It seems as though Fitz is not that into the pool. But I feel like normally our dogs, always growing up, would swim all the time. Um, and that's why they weren't allowed the newer. So uh, I just figured Fitz would also love it. Cause they're all doodles. Maybe he'll get there. I'll keep you guys posted. I'll let you know what he looks like right now. Oh Fitz, bud. Oh wow. Oh, good boy. All right guys, I just put on my robe for the first time. I'm out of the shower, I'm back home. I finished the Jennifer Hillier book. I honestly, I wouldn't recommend 
which is hard for me to say because I would recommend every book of hers that I've read. I just, like, I didn't love it. I'm putting on a Loops face mask. These are the best face masks, like, ever. I sat outside. I think I got potentially a sun rash, like a sunburn. <laughs> I'll keep y'all posted. Okay. Best face mask ever. All right. It is just so hydrating. Okay. Wow. I just got a little recess in a wine glass. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to wash the toast. I'm going to relax and reply to my text messages. And then I will need to get ready pretty soon, eventually. Then I have to get ready for another cooking class, which I'm very excited for. I did just want to do a little chat very quickly. My house feels so good. My room feels so good. Like, it's just a good day. As we've established, today is my 25th birthday. When I was doing my morning page this morning, I was writing about this. But I remember when I was even turning 19, I like didn't want to turn 19 and I was freaking out because... For whatever reason, I would really freak out every single year my birthday came around because not only am I, am I an overachiever, but for whatever reason, I wanted to like achieve all of these things by a certain age and have all of this done by a certain age or something like really unrealistic. And also that wouldn't have allowed me to like live the life that I currently live. For example, when I was 20, like the thing I wanted the most was like a group of girlfriends who were all friends with each other and we were all really close and we traveled and we did everything together and I have that now. Whereas before I didn't have the friendships necessarily that I always had wanted. I had some, I obviously had certain friendships that were great. Um, it just wasn't in like, they were all floaters. Anyways, but it's interesting because at 25 now, while I do feel very accomplished, I am way happier about all of the things that didn't go my way and all of the things that I didn't even think I cared enough about or wanted that badly. For example, besides wanting that friend group, the main things I really cared about were like career-wise. And I will say a lot of those have happened and I'm very grateful for it, and I am driven and I do care about that. But I think I thought those were the things that were going to fulfill me and they weren't at all. I talk about this on the podcast all the time. The things, I'm more grateful for the things that didn't work out that I thought I wanted than I am for the things that did work out. Like, for example, breakups are always pretty much a good thing. Friendship ending things are really hard but eventually lead you to something better. Like things, a job opportunities that you think you wanted eventually lead you to something better. College that you didn't get into eventually lead you to something better. So, okay, really? So, okay, Coco, seriously. All right. Now, at 25, one day into 25, when I'm obviously so wise um, and way more mature and I have grown up so much in the past 24 hours, I do seriously want to say, like, I am the most grateful for my life I've ever been. I am the happiest I've ever been. I'm so grateful for y'all. I'm so grateful for my friends, my family. And ultimately, I've realized that, like, those three things are what matter the most to me and not achieving a certain milestone by a certain age and I think a lot of that pressure isn't even helpful when it comes to career stuff and also like longevity you have not that you shouldn't work hard and you should be trying but I do think like we something that I've shifted is thinking like oh my god I'm like excited to be 40 and I have so much time like 25 is still so young I have so much time to achieve so many other things so while it doesn't mean to like not work hard and not focus on your career I just mean there is a lot of life ahead. You know what I mean? So anyways, I'm really grateful and I love y'all so much and I would not be living the life that I am without you guys and I really, really, really do love you guys. I'm really bad at expressing emotion so I feel like I don't do it enough but from the bottom of my heart, like thank you guys, everyone who's watched my videos for years or even if you, this is your first one or listen to the podcast or whatever it is, like I'm just so unbelievably grateful for y'all. Also, there's an entire episode solo episode of my 25th birthday up on the podcast right now and there's a bonus episode this week so we have another one all about skincare um but anyways just really grateful i'm gonna watch the toast now and just chill in my nice versace robe that i'm gonna use to get ready literally every day like look at how cute this is i just love it guys look at how cute this is margo just sent me flowers and a little birthday balloon oh my god so cute I started a new season of the Something Was Wrong podcast. I listened to the one where the girl was in, it was like a really like spiritually weird, churchy, manipulative engagement. And then I think I've listened to another one and I'm blanking on the other one. And now I'm listening to season two. Very interesting. They just go through different stories. Sometimes there's trigger warnings and things, but very interesting podcast. Also, I like a good podcast later in the afternoon at night when I'm getting ready. That's more like chill and not like this is how you can make your life better those are my morning podcasts you know also and some fruit roll-ups because we bought some for the lake 
we didn't eat them all and now i'm having them so anyways it's 6 15 cooking class is at 7 it's very hot out um <laughs> of course it is august 1st top is actually unfortunately brandy melville jeans are levi's i'm wearing my new new balance shoes i got them on go, on go. i got my other ones on go as well it really is just like so hot and we're going to a grilling class i didn't leave out there it's gonna be cold in there it doesn't matter um but it's my mom my sister my cousin and lauren going so it's gonna be a good time but like it is really hot and I didn't have any of like, the Okine pants clean. They're all, I have a lot of laundry to do. So I did this to myself. I really did. And I also downloaded a new book. I think it's a flicker in the dark. It's the Redheads pick. I need to read that very quickly so I can listen to the episode on Thursday. Do you guys have any other book club podcasts? Rex, because I really need, I don't know why I said this so weird. Um, I need more book club podcasts. Like I want my own book club podcast, but I need some more to listen to. Because like once a month, like I need more. You know, I like celebrity memoir book club but i just listened to that because you really want to read the book to listen to it i don't know let me know guys also like any snack from my childhood obsessed got a refresher because i just felt like it it's my birthday going into my favorite place guys it's just have you done this before yet no. it's so much fun come on in ladies welcome to my welcome to my home if you will <laughs> goes to like one class where you live. It's like a <laughs> Maddie's not doing well with the attention of being on me on my birthday, so. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I was here, actually all of you were here. What does this rooster remind you of? Oh, oh. Like childhood. Yeah. Childhood. Yeah. 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 Back from the cooking class, it was so much fun. If you guys watched my last Sunday vlog, I went like literally last week. And I've already signed up for at least two more classes. I have another one I want to do. And then I have a plan with another friend to book them. So like, I love taking classes there. It's Knox Anderson area. So much fun. Um, Graham is my teacher for both classes. He's great. Like, it's just so much fun. It's such a good activity and just thing to do to, like, switch things up. I don't know. I had a lot of fun. Also, my little sister Maddie, who you guys saw, is very funny today. Um, she's always very funny, but she got me a birthday gift for the first time in her whole life. Sometimes she would get them for me when she was younger on, like, our parents' card kind of thing, you know? Say it was from her, but she would always buy something that she wanted. So like she would give it to me and then she would just take it, you know? So she's nothing if not, um, I don't want to say manipulative, like what's her company for? Um, manipulative, I mean, she knows what she wants, you know? She's gonna figure out a way to a way to make it happen. She got me, um, oh my God, teleties. I don't even think she knows that I just got these. I love these, so I'm actually so glad because the more the merrier, I need these in every bag. They're so much better for your hair when you pull it back, and I just, I love them. So, 
Thank you, Maddie. Then she got me a card that I already opened, a nice scalp massager. These things are amazing. Um, and then she got me these cute, I think these are, oh yeah, they're face masks, right? The Dr. Jar face masks. I've always wanted to try these, but I haven't before. I cannot believe she got me a birthday gift. Like that is like very out of character. And she got me Sprinkles cupcakes, which she loves Sprinkles and she probably got one for her dog too. But like, that's really, you know when your siblings are just like growing up? That's how I feel today. I woke up this morning, my first thought wasn't even about the fact that I'm 25, it was like, oh my god, Maddie turns 23 this year. And that is just, it doesn't seem right, it really doesn't. And my mom surprised me with chocolate covered strawberries, which she already gave me my gift. Obviously she was in on the robe and I love chocolate covered, covered strawberries. Like, oh my god, they look so good. So anyways, I am exhausted. Like something about, when, any day that I go to the pool, I'm so tired. So, anyway, what a good birthday. I feel like it's just dragging on for so long between the podcast and the trip and just so much. But um, I'm so grateful. Uh, this has been genuinely the best year of my life. And I feel like 25 is probably, hopefully, going to be even better. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoy. I need to go to bed because it is literally 9 p.m. And I am, it's way past my bedtime, as we know. So, love you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Because I always get questions like, have you ever been cheated on? I'm like, have I? <laughs> have I, babe? Honestly, I feel like I definitely told Kenzie the story because, you know, she lived through it, but I don't know if, like, Dom knows. Like, I go on her Instagram, and every single photo, she has the necklace that I bought him for Valentine's Day, like, at the time that we were dating, on her body, and she is tagging him in every single photo. Every photo. So, like, 